Hey guys, David Tim here from BonerPlant.com and today we're taking a look at the new Bulldog 440 from Excalibur Crossbows. Bulldog 440 is part of one of the best lineups of crossbows in the market today. The Excalibur lines have done so well. Uh, we have been nothing but so excited and just blown away by what we've seen from Excalibur this year on their crossbow lineup. Bows that are able to be taken down without a bolt and put back together. It's absolutely incredible, the Assassin line. It's something you don't see every day. And uh, with the durability of these crossbows, the power, uh, we're so excited to shoot this Bulldog 440 and see what this thing can do as well. And I've shot the Bulldog 400 for several years in the past. Had some great success out of that bow. Um, really well built bow. So I'm excited to get this thing unboxed and see what this looks like. So. And for those of you who don't know, Excalibur is a Canadian company. And uh, that being said, I wanted to um, I wanted to highlight that by having a Tim Hortons coffee. <laughs> and that, <laughs> if you don't know, oh, Canada. Tim Hortons is from Canada and he was a hockey player. For those of you who don't actually know who Tim Hortons I didn't was. know he was a hockey player. Yes, that's, a quick, a fun, that's a good fun player. fact. All right. He was very, very popular in Canada. Awesome. All right, we're going to put this together and then we'll talk about the specs and then we'll go from there. We'll be right back. All right, guys, uh, we just got it out of the box. It was pretty easy to assemble. What did you think of the assembly? No, that, I think that's one thing I love about Excalibur is, is um, along with a lot of other aspects, actually, is that out of the box to put together, five minutes. All right, let's talk about the specs real quick um, before we get into some of the details about the bow. Uh, MSRP is $1,500, so it's definitely at the top-notch echelon of crossbows, but no surprise here. Uh, Excalibur stuff is so good quality, so durable. Um, every one of the line. What I would have a hard time with is not necessarily the price, but which one to get. Right. Because they have so many good options. And it really depends on you and what you're looking for in a crossbow. Um, the Assassin lineup is different than this, but it also has the takedown where you can take it apart real quick. But if you're if you're somebody who doesn't care about that because maybe you don't do that much, you just put in a case go and go, you know, back and forth, you don't travel at all. Maybe that's not a benefit to you, right, compared to this where everything's just locked in and done. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely per personal preference. Um, you know, I've shot the Bulldog for a couple of years. I absolutely love it. I hunt out of grime, ground blind normally, so I didn't have any issues with the size of the crossbow at all. I know some people like the micro because it's a little bit narrower for, for the different areas that they're hunting. Um, for me, the Bulldog is just a perfect length, perfect size for me. So 440 feet per second. We'll go ahead and test the speed in a minute. I do want to say it has a minimum arrow weight needed to 350 this arrow i just weighed it is 354 uh grains and um this is a black eagle arrow so it's a very high quality arrow it's very exciting that they teamed up to do this and shoot black eagle arrows out of the bow very exciting um okay uh cocking efforts 15 pounds draw weight 300 pounds draw length is 19.5 inches with cocked and decocked so 23 inches when it's cocked 30 inches when it's not cocked Overall length is 35.75 inches, so not too long. I think it's a pretty good sized bow. Uh, the weight of the bow is 6.2 pounds, which is very light. Very light. For, for the size bow. of this crossbow, it's really light. In the crossbow market, <clears throat> the heavy side would be eight, I think. The low side would be six. Mm -hmm. So just to give you guys a feel of the, the differences in crossbows. Talking about the features and technology in this bow, the first thing that pops out to me are what they're calling their red suppression system. Um, that's the string stop system. Really, really good in regards to dampening the sound a little bit. You know, out of, the, out of these longer bows, um, you do get a little bit more of that twang um, that you get with shooting, especially on the on the bulldog because it's a little bit longer, a little bit longer um, draw length as well once it's cocked. So to have that on there, really good addition as well. Um, you also have the uh, TAC 100 illuminated scope, uh, really good scope. We I've used this for a couple years. Um, yeah, I actually, I love the scope. The illumination on it, the clarity of the scope itself, that's one thing that I look for is a really good out-of-the-box scope. There's some crossbows that you can get out there on the market. You know, you can just tell the quality of the scope just isn't what it should be, but the uh, TAC 100 is a great scope to get out of the box with this. Um, also talking about the trigger, I think there's a lot of technology that really goes on the trigger, something that, that makes a lot of sense. Um, really bringing in more of that uh, gun hunting type of feel, that trigger technology that you see there into a crossbow, what they're calling the Pro Shot ACP trigger. So it's actually a two-stage adjustable trigger, um, frictionless. So you can you can just smoothly, whether you want to just pull your shot 
or whether you want to slap the trigger, which obviously you shouldn't, but if you want to do a quick shot or you want to feel that release of the crossbow, I mean, that frictionless trigger is absolutely amazing. And I know you shot this trigger. It's on the Assassin as well. Love it, yeah. Um, what do you think about it? Three pound uh, trigger pull with no creep is what they call it, and uh, I agree with it 100%. I mean, I've shot so many deer with this bow, uh, well, an X caliber crossbow, I should say, but um, every time it's just, it's, it's not the bow ever that is the issue, it's it's buck fever is the issue so, yes. for yes. me. So it's because it's so accurate and like, you know, so good. It's just a matter of you relaxing and taking your shot smoothly. Um, but yes, it is uh, a great trigger system. And, uh, you know, these bows are really, really great. They're just so yeah. fast and powerful. Yeah, now talking a little bit more about the about the features of the bow, it has all of your safety features that you would want. Um, yeah, obviously it has a safety on it, and a little thumb thumb trigger here. Um, also has the anti-dry fire and finger guards for your fingers. Uh, four on grip has a very, very nice texture. Really well positioned on the bow for nice balance. It has the cheek guard as well uh, to rest your head on. Uh, overall, really, really solid bow. I think the one thing that you won't see on this bow when you look at the Assassin lineup is the adjustable stock on it. Mm -hmm. So you definitely want to pick this up at your pro shop, uh, make sure it's a good fit for you. I know it's a great fit for me. Um, yeah. I think it's a good fit for you as well. You've shot it before. Yeah. Uh, so that adjustability, I don't really miss on this bow as much, uh, just because it's the right size for somebody like me. So yeah, the grip is uh, rubber uh, and the grip and the foregrip. It's the cheek piece is ambidextrous. It can be flipped depending on if you're a right or left hand shooter. Um, the charging system basically, you know, it goes onto the bow, which it comes with this bow, which is really cool. But you know, again, when you're shooting, you're probably going to take it off while you're hunting because it might get in your way when you're trying to get in there. Uh, but that's the advantage of it to be able to put it in and out, you know. Yeah, and to put also, it on super easy. Um, you know, like in, oh. what, like we were saying, it's just two bolts. You you put the mounting bracket on, it slips on. To take it on and off, there's a little knob here that you just pull out, and then it can slide up. So oh. very very easy. Right. It looks really good and stunning in the black, but also again they have it mossy oak breakup country. So two options, depending if you want the blackout or you're going for. Uh, camo. A lot of guys, you know, they hunt in ground blinds with these, so black for them is perfect for this bow. And you know, obviously, you can use a black for any hunting situation. I use a black compound when I'm hunting, but yeah, so it works good for anything. I, you know, just a job well done again from Excalibur. It's hard to really get a bad Excalibur. I mean, they've really got this down. It really yeah. is. And, and their stats just keep creeping oh, they up keep there. Doing so uh, well. Bulldog 400, now we're at the Bulldog 440. I can't yep. wait to get this thing on the speed test and, and they see just what this thing is throwing tons around. of new bows out this year and you know, just a lot of great stuff going on. So let's get shooting it to get the speed test going, show you guys how this thing performs. Wow. Okay, so great example of Excalibur's performance power. 443 feet per second is more than what they advertise the 440. One of the only bow companies in the world I've ever seen to actually hit, not only hit their number, but surpass it. It's actually absolutely incredible. I mean, 443 actual feet per second out of this bow is unreal. It's a cocky mechanism to charge the XT. All right guys, so here's the Excalibur Charger EXT cocking mechanism for the crossbows. Comes in two pieces. You got the mounting bracket that mounts to the crossbow and then the cocking mechanism itself. First thing you need to do is remove the mounting bracket from the cocking mechanism so you can put it on the crossbow itself. Simply pull that and just slide it out. Comes in two pieces. It's really easy to assemble. There's arrows on it, left side up, and then on the other side, same thing, but there's a right side up. So I'll just simply screw that on. Allen wrench that comes with it. After that's mounted on there, you just simply slide this on and off. We're going to go ahead and attach the cocking mechanism, the Charger EXT to the crossbow, and get this thing cocked. Just simply slide it on, make sure that pin's nice and sturdy in there. Then, what you're going to want to do, make sure it's in release, undo the hooks, separate them. And what I found easiest is that you put one side on. Then you can slide the other side down. Now for the bulldog, you're going to have to pull up on the string a little bit just to engage that other hook. But once it's hooked in there, your string will be in the groove behind it. You can then attach your handle, push the cock, make sure you push it firm, you're going to hear that click, and then you can crank away on it. Now one thing you're going to hear is nothing, it's completely silent. So, nice thing when it's in the push to cock mode, there is a safety, I got the safety strap on there, but it also has a brake on it. So if you do stop cranking, you can release some of that pressure that 
the brake stops it from snapping backwards on you. So go to here, click. We're gonna go ahead and push the release button. Let it go forward a little bit. Move my handle and then I can disconnect the hooks and put them, away, put them back. So notice on this one, there's nothing that actually goes over the scope. This stays behind the scope and sits in the groove the whole time, making it really easy. So you're not getting confused on where it goes and um, ac actually a lot safer as well. So there's no risk of touching the scope or messing your scope up in the process. Dude, that, that buried the arrow. The kick on this thing is nuts, it's awesome. So I just wanna show you an example of the 440's power. This is a broadhead target, full foam, and when you hit this, generally you don't get any kind of huge depth in it without a broadhead on it, and this is a field point. And I wanna show you how, how Tim and I have been having such a hard time protecting these bolts because it's hitting so hard that we're losing bolts. And here's one of them that went through the first tear target. We tried to go through a normal target, couldn't, now it's jammed here and done. Can't get it out. So point being, when you get this bow, protect your arrows, try to get some, shoot into something that can handle 440 feet per second. I mean, this is a true 443 feet per second bow. Unbelievable. And the depth that it's hitting is seriously <laughs> unmatched from what I've seen. Well, there's nothing left to talk about. The bow's super fast, super powerful, and uh, very comfortable to shoot. If you're looking for a powerhouse bow, I think this might be your option this year. The Bulldog 440 is a force to be reckoned with, honestly. Um, just a great, great feeling bow, great shooting bow, all around, very well done. Uh, if you're looking for something a little smaller, uh, check out our next video on the uh, 380 Micro TV, or takedown. So if you're looking for something just a little bit smaller, this is gonna be an option. And again, this one features the takedown clip button there, whereas this one does not. So a couple different options here is to give you an idea of the size difference uh, between the bows. If I line up my limbs here, you can see there's definitely a difference in size. Um, but some definitely good options from Excalibur. So go to excalibercrossbows.com to learn more and uh, check it out when you guys get in a minute. We'll see you next time. Make sure you subscribe, hit that like button, and uh, we hope to see you around.